On the surface, Bob Barnett has no reason to sing a sad tune. Well, I'm 50 years old now. He recently bought the house of his dreams in Germany. He spends a lot of time there with his wife, but that's because they can't afford to do much else. It is rather expensive just to walk, go downtown and have a cup of coffee and a, a dinner and, a, and uh, maybe you're spending 70, 60, 70 dollars rather easily. Bob Barnett works at the U.S. Air Base in Wiesbaden. Like more than 60,000 American soldiers and civilian personnel stationed in Germany, he gets paid in dollars. And with the greenback plunging to ever new lows against the euro, simply surviving in Europe has become a challenge. In the last two years, the dollar has dropped from 117 against the euro to 146. That means American service members in Germany have 25% less in their pockets. The military offers some financial help, but it's not nearly enough, as Sharon Fields, a counselor for U.S. soldiers and their families, sees every time she pulls out her wallet. And you love shopping, you say? Oh, I love shopping. I could shop every day. But she's put that love to rest for now and cut her spending down to the bare necessities, like food. But what about things like pumpkins and you have the... Those are things I, I would call frills, and so, no, they're, they're wonderful to look at, but I don't want to necessarily spend my money on it or, or buy a smaller amount, especially if they're going to charge me by the weight. Buying oranges instead of pumpkins is one thing, but in some That's cases, the what worries are existential. I can't wait. With Christmas around the corner, the Barnetts have already cut back on presents. And this could be their last holiday season in their dream house. The weak dollar has turned mortgage payments into a nightmare. If I was pressured into selling it for a loss, because I've only lived here a year and a half, um, that's a, fun, a major financial concern. I've wasted so much in my life. Running through the dark night